Has the Nintendo Switch Mini just accidentally been revealed? Is this the finished product, guys? Let's talk about it in today's video because this might be potentially big and I just had to make a video about this because I'm excited about the potential of the Nintendo Switch Mini coming out very soon in the new future and I think this concept art image slash product that is now online is enough proof in the pudding that it's going to be very soon. So let's begin guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric, and today's video is an update on this Nintendo Switch Mini situation. You know, the past few months, actually, people have been talking about the potential of Nintendo releasing a Switch Pro or a Switch Mini. And there's actually been even analysts, like reputable journalists, websites, business websites, reporting on this news. There's been people saying that there's rumored to be two Nintendo Switch consoles coming out in 2019. And we have been anxiously awaiting details, updates, any kind of confirmation. And Nintendo has been silence on this i mean e3 2019 has come and gone we have not seen anything officially from nintendo in any aspect and that was one of the most rumored reveals for e3 and it was nowhere to be found we just saw games which i'm not complaining about but throughout the time again we've seen websites talk about it we've seen analysts say that they have inside information that nintendo will be doing two different consoles and we've even seen concept art pop up all over the internet in fact just recently a chinese accessory website for different electronics like smartphones and tablets and even Nintendo Switch apparently has put some listings for Switch Mini accessories. You can see a various amount of different Switch carrying cases and everything and on them is a concept art for Switch Mini. We haven't been, you know, confirmed again what this thing is going to look like, but this one has been on here for quite some time. I mean, it looks neat, looks official. Again, no detachable Joy-Cons, looks like it's portable only, has a gray look and everything like that. And this does look believable. I mean, lots of times in the past, different websites that do make electronic accessories and stuff have accidentally leaked what smartphones would look like. And this is a plausible explanation and stuff. And, and especially since it's consistent around their branding up until this point, because now a new accessory has popped up on Hansen and it is showing a different concept art. This one looks sleeker, more rectangular, it's black, and again, no more detachable Joy-Cons. It does seem like it does have other accessories that the Switch currently has, like it looks like there's an insert for the dock that you can go into dock mode, which this version right here actually looks very believable, even more believable than the previous one that was gray with all the other ones. And of course you have the plastic case that protects it in the back uh the interesting thing why i wanted to talk about this and stuff is that most websites that make accessories and stuff have to know exact dimensions for the product they're going to be selling so when it when the product is ready when the when the electronic is out that the accessories will be ready to be delivered as well so to me this makes it that much more believable that much more plausible that this could be the Nintendo Switch Mini that we're looking at right here, or if not really close or similar in design. I mean, maybe there's gonna be something slightly changed or whatever, because of course, Nintendo would still wanna keep this a little bit under wraps and probably not reveal what the exact look of the Nintendo Switch Mini looks like until they're good and ready to reveal it, which apparently was not E3 2019. But I will say, and I'm willing to bet on a whim, that the Nintendo Switch Mini will look close if not almost exact to what this looks like here and you can see it does look like it's a pretty believable design it doesn't look cheaply made and it's really interesting considering that chinese websites that sell electronics and accessories and stuff don't really have a reputation of being um really good <laughs> a lot of times you get cheap stuff that's broken easily and stuff like that but this looks like a really interesting and believable concept in my opinion. As a matter of fact, if I didn't see it on a Chinese website and I saw it on another website, I probably would believe that this was the legit thing. Uh, everybody's been waiting for the Nintendo Switch Mini and as time drags on and time goes on and on, people are wondering what's the deal. I mean, 
every time I live stream, every time I make a video, I see comments of people saying they're going to hold off on buying a Nintendo Switch because of this rumor, because of the, the idea that two different consoles will be made. Uh, and it looks like it's getting closer and closer to being confirmed. I mean, if we're already seeing accessories for sale on the internet that means that it might be coming true and if this is a reputable site that needs the exact dimensions for the controller for the actual console for anything that the nintendo switch mini is going to use i would venture to say we're going to hear something really quick it's it's june right now maybe by august so it could come out in time for the holiday season so pre-orders can be made it's very interesting that nintendo is really quiet on this because again it's just like every other website. I mean, I've seen Wall Street Journal. I've seen Bloomberg. I've seen Japanese websites like journalistic newspapers and stuff all talking about this. But Nintendo has been pretty silent. So who knows what's going on? Is there a huge like game plan, a mega game plan to, to release this out here? And keep in mind, the 2DS was also leaked in a similar situation. Uh, they showed it and kind of a couple months later, it was finally revealed. So maybe this was a goof maybe this wasn't intentional maybe i don't know either way i seen a lot of people are talking about it and speculating it i wanted to go ahead and throw my regurgitation piece into the pie uh, i will probably be picking up a nintendo switch mini day one i like the idea of having a travel only nintendo switch mini that doesn't have to do with joy consoles those joy cons sometimes can be so temperamental and such a pain in the butt to actually fix and work out and stuff and they drift to like the left and things like that and i'm i'm interested to see if a nintendo switch mini will take care of a lot of other issues that nintendo switch owners seem to kind of complain about myself included so yeah again we have some concept arts right here we have a brand new one for new accessory that's being sold so i think more than likely what we are going to get in the long run is going to be what this is. What do you guys think? Feel free to comment below. Are you still speculating? Are you still kind of iffy on whether this could be the actual concept? Do you think on a scale of 1 through 10, how close and accurate could this be? Or is this our Nintendo Switch Mini right here that has been leaked accidentally, possibly by this Chinese retailer? Comment down below. And again, if you are brand new to the channel, feel free to throw a subscription this way. It's completely free. Do so. And uh, you will be updated. We'll keep along with this Nintendo Switch mini saga. Any kind of updates or anything, I will be talking about it definitely. Don't forget to click that bell for post notifications so you won't miss when I upload. Appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot, as always, again, for sticking around. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out. Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. This is a convention announcement. Yes, my next convention will be the Southeast Game Exchange in Greenville, South Carolina. Ric Flair country, my favorite pro wrestler. I absolutely cannot wait to come out and talk to you guys, meet you, and come out for my first time. I have not been to this convention ever, but this is in August. This is August 24th and August 25th again at the Greenville Convention Center and it's going to be the fourth annual Southeast Game Exchange. Now there's going to be some other guests there besides me just to give you a clue of who will be there. You got me, you got the Game Chasers, uh, Shady J will be in the house, you got Olivia Mears, you got Pixel Game Squad Riff and you ha also have Generation Gap Gaming, and your player 2, Russ Lyman, NES Addict, JLove81, BP Retro Power. The list goes on and on and on. If you go to their website, check it out, southeastgameexchange.com. You can actually pre-order your tickets right now. Uh, I'm generally excited because it's not too often that I go to the East Coast for a convention. So it's a whole new avenue of people at a con that I've never met before. I will have t-shirts on hand if you want to pick them up and buy one Support yourself as part of the ABE Nation. And yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to it. Again, Southeast Game Exchange. It will be August 24th and 25th at the Greenville Convention Center. So I will see you there, guys. Looking forward to it. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. 
And while you're at it guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again guys for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing and don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again guys. Peace out.